what up guys so today i'll take you on a little trip with me uh, what do we have planned today i'm going to the office for a little bit um, i gotta set my sales team up um, go over some opportunities that they have to call today kind of give them a game plan on how to handle certain situations um, after that uh, i have to actually drop off some mail uh, because the person i was supposed to drop it off is not feeling too well after that meeting my project manager at a project kind of analyzing what the next step is all right all right guys so we are at the office this is the war room i would call it and i already know always good vibes good vibes i usually start my day with training for my uh, sales team. So every morning I start off with training for my sales team. And whoa, I found a camera. I don't know. So every day I start off with training for my sales team. It takes about a half an hour. Um, after that, I stay on the phone with my, uh, my closer. And then we go over the number of opportunities that we have in our system. And if you don't know, so what we do, the system we have in place, is that our follow specialist is basically in charge of all the new leads and the follow-ups that need to be made. Once somebody is ready uh, to be become an opportunity, that is pushed onto my closer and she takes care of everything and makes sure that the deal goes good. All right, so let's talk about, I would say a setup. Um, going into sales, going into being a closer and trying to close deals, my opinion is you need to look like a closer. That way you feel like a closer, you have the confidence to actually like be that killer salesperson. So a couple of things, two things that I would say you would definitely need to get. Um, if you have it not or not, try to get a double screen. This will definitely help you out. This way you can have the lead in your CRM on one screen. You can have the script or the or props you on the other screen. Um, speaking of scripts, there's a lot of people that are kind of confused about the whole script thing. So I view the script as a guide. Um, and that guide is to basically keep me on track uh, of make, make sure that I get the most important things out of the conversation. There's a lot of people out there that say, oh, you need to build report and ask the right questions at the right time. Um, how do you know how to build report? How do you know what the questions are to ask at the right time? So my script is more of a guide that keeps me on track in the conversation. The second thing why we have a script or a guide is because I want to make sure that my sales team is on the right track. Not on the right track, but I mean on the same page. Um, if you have a script, if you have process in place, it's the only way you can actually scale and get a team under your belt that is on the same page. If you tell your team, oh, just build report and ask the right questions, the, 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 the recording is going to be all over the place. But once you have a guide in place and your team is following that step by step, you will be able to coach them, you will be able to improve the quality and actually close more deals. But most importantly, you'll be able to take yourself out of the sales process because you know exactly what they're doing and you know exactly what to coach them on in order to get better. Also, the second thing, and I think the most important thing you need to get is get the right equipment. Um, I use this brand called Jabra, I believe, and it's pretty cool. Um, it cancels out all the noise so that when you talk, only thing they can hear is you, only thing you can hear is their voice. That way you can just listen to the person and not just basically go through by the script. Um, I'm a big fan of actually, I'm teaching my, my sales team right now and myself as well, to actually pay attention to what the people, what the, the sellers are saying. That way you can focus and anticipate what the next question is based off what they told you. I never teach my sales team to actually go by script, by the script or the guide, step by step. It's always important to listen to the sales per, uh, to the seller, to see what their problem is at that time, to try to fix it or, or ask a question based on what they told you. But um, what it actually all comes down to is that um, we are trying to set up, Argy and I are trying to set up a business. Um, a lot of courses, a lot of people are trying to teach you just how to get a deal here and there. I'm actually, we're actually trying to set up a business in a way where we can remove ourselves eventually from the business and it will still run by itself. So that's the reason why, for example, we have a lot of systems and processes in place 
by which we only have to maybe work half a day if we want to. Um, that's why we also have this script in place and this process in place when it comes to lead because then I can take a step back if I want to to see um, and just basically evaluate the situation if I need to. Um, but we just want to make sure that we are buying our time back and this is the only way you can buy time back. Yeah, so I just want to talk about some like the opportunities that we have. Um, I'm not, did you look through them already? Yeah, I'm going through them. Um, most of them for today is just like checking back to see if the house is sold or not. Okay. Um, they were not a good fit, things like that. Okay. Well, let me see. Yeah, if I can it's, find. Not, it's not much to. Okay. So I did see you yeah. have a lot of tasks today, so. I just want to make sure that the opportunities, yeah, that, opportunities is definitely the only thing, the most important thing we need to focus on, as I tell you all, always. Right. Right. Yeah, there isn't much. Um, I've already gone through a few. I still can't get one of the leaves on the phone again. Um, okay. What's her name? Calendra. Okay. The lead that was responding via text, uh, I have, I asked um, Amanda to skip trace the number. Okay. Um, but none of the numbers work, so I guess we're, we're gonna have to try to skip trace again. Yeah. Um, we might send out some direct mail or something if that's not working. That's weird. Right, that's not working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But and the other is just uh, people that we couldn't make an offer to because they're asking market value. I'm just checking in to see how things are going with them. Okay. Um, Alright, I was just checking in. Um, one thing I need to add, if you, when you have some spare time, I already added a, um, how do you call it, a video on the offers, because I told you, if you really want to be an ultimate closer, you need to be able to yeah. give the offers, but also you need to be able to walk them through the, the agreement. Um, so right. she made a video on that. And she also made a script kind of step by step of what to say and little key points in that in that agreement when you read it through. Okay, I was supposed to also make a video tomorrow for her um, going through the contract. Okay. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, you owe me a dollar. <laughs> going through the agreement. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll be around, so just let me know if anything. I'll be um, in the office. I'll check. I'm checking on a couple of projects, but I'll I'll be around. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank thank you. you. The reason I said you owe me a dollar is because we don't use the word contract. Uh, we try to avoid that at all costs because it just sounds scary in uh, sellers' uh, ears. So we have to use agreement. That's the number one rule we have. All right, that's it for the office. I was here maybe for about 45 minutes for my Saturday. Um, right now, um, as I mentioned before, we're trying to buy our time back. Um, and the only way to do that is to create systems in place where your team can constantly train and improve on. Um, right now, I'm going to go over a couple of projects, actually one project that's basically a full gut. I'm meeting my project manager there that I'm actually training um, from scratch. They didn't really have no idea of how to flip a house, um, but now he's my project manager. He already did two. Um, he has like three or four more coming up. Um, this month and next month. Hi peeps, so I'm at the flip. This is a full gut and this is a full gut. Um, so what basically is happening, back in the day, they used to put hardwood floors without subfloors. So we took out the hardwood, it was really bad shape and found out there was no subfloor, no big deal. We're just gonna add some subfloor to it. That wall right there, we're actually gonna take out and open it up. Um, so that way the, we can have an open concept. This will actually stay a bedroom with two closets. And let's see. So this is, will be the kitchen. We're just gonna make sure that this wall as well is taken out. So everything is gonna be open. This wall is gonna be taken out as well. So the kitchen is gonna be here with an island, probably put a sink and a dishwasher in the island. The second bedroom, we'll probably put a door here, going into the bedroom, add a closet to make an official bedroom. This will be closed off completely. Um, this will be the laundry room. We're gonna put the hot water tank here, so that way we can have more space 
in the bathroom. So it's only a two one, about maybe 900 square feet. It has a laundry room and it has like a little bonus um, room in the, in the back. There's some floor, some flooring issues, it's not leveled, no big deal. We're just gonna make sure that everything is supported the right way, reframe whatever we need to reframe. Um, but yeah, that's basically much it. Um, this house definitely needs all new wiring because it still has knob and tube wiring. For those who don't know what it looks like, this right here, if you see this in your house, uh, most likely need to replace it. So most likely need to replace these. But all in all, it's a decent house. Um, it's all framing, um, but we're, we're gonna make sure that everything is gonna pass code. Um, definitely getting new electric. Um, however, plumbing is in decent shape. They have uh, PVC and copper, and that's what we're after, and that's easy to pass inspection. If you see galvanized or cast iron, um, those usually need to be replaced. All right, peeps, so it was fun hanging out with y'all today, um, but I don't have anything else for you. Um, that's usually how my Saturdays look like. It's about 12 o'clock right now, and I'm done for the day. Now I'm just basically gonna hang out. I got a little cookout to go to, but if you have any questions on sales or anything like that, um, hit me up, I'll be there. Um, usually I can respond really fast on Instagram or just comment in the, in the comments right here. All right, man, appreciate it.